Welcome back to final round and what have we got in store for you today? Well, we've got four races of Imola, Canada, Mexico and France to finish off. And I tell you what, the first four races have not gone to plan. It's been very tough and you'll see why now. It's been horrendous and that is because we scored a 41 point in race two in Canada and for no joke, the whole field were on hard tyres Pierre Gasly started in P11. It was a train of hard tyres and we could not get past. Literally no chance of moving up that field. And sadly, we dropped six points. But So four races, 182 points and we're moving on to race five now in Imola. So now we're into relaxing GP. I'm not bothered if I don't score max points. Now I've dropped enough already and we're just going to try and have an enjoyable last few races to the final round and hopefully you can still learn some more of my holding up ability or attempts let's call it on this game and we're using street shark for driver one in gasly going to be doing medium medium strategy verstappen going medium medium as well but we're going for the rooster to hold up the field and the reason I go rooster is because it's quite good at holding up and I can push a lot so lights out and away we go Max Verstappen gets a very good start and Pierre Gasly settles down into P5 upside the Lewis Hamilton who was caught napping there and Max Verstappen is into the lead comfortably and tell you what Gasly all round the place and he's past George Russell but George Russell comes back and Gasly fights it but can't keep it and George Russell moves up to P4 at Imola with the first lap nearly completed so a very entertaining first lap and now the race will settle down into a case of cat and mouse as Max Verstappen leads the grid round on lap two. Pierre Gasly sitting P5 and will be coming shortly into this race and he's just holding for that moment where his pit crew tell him it is go time. So Leclerc all over the back of Max Verstappen now looking to make the move early and try and upset the apple cart but he can't do it and Charles Leclerc is going to have to wait for another day as already we're on to lap three here in Imola and we are currently P1, P5 and we're just going to hold them up. We've got a little choo-choo train coming here at the minute and uh, yeah, they can't uh, they can't get past our beloved Max at the moment, and we are comfortably still pushing a little bit. But now we push Pierre Gasly. So Pierre Gasly in P5 is going to close that gap up and push all the way to lap four and come into the pits. So we push Max to create the gap. We push Gasly to close the gap, and can he now get past Max Verstappen in P3? Up the inside he goes. Move done, P3 for Pierre, and he'll set his sights now on Charles Leclerc in P2. Can he get the move done early and give us at least a second gap? Oh, close, Gasly nearly getting through in P3, but he's going to settle down for a P2 pit stop, and he's in. So the reason we're going Rooster, as we've said before, it's not good for this track, but it helps me hold the field up as Gasly jumps Leclerc in the pits. It basically helps me keep everybody behind. And because my Pierre Gasly is weak compared to the Hamiltons of this world, I've got to try and help bring him through. And that's what we've done so far. Street Shark, great boost on Imola. It's got the speed. It's got the overtaking. It's got a bit of time management as well. And it really helps me complete that 4-4 strategy. So Gasly is keeping Leclerc behind. Max Verstappen from the rival will pit. And that will be us going into P2 early on. On lap 6. Not really early on, is it? It's pretty late. So three laps to go, including this one. And we are P1 and P2. We don't want to push too much yet with Gasly. Because of the tyre percentages. But we are absolutely cruising out front. And I'm so looking forward to getting... Lewis Hamilton level 8, Norris level 8. It's going to help me so much more. At the minute, my second driver is Pierre Gasly. And it's if I want to be winning P1s, I need to upgrade my driver. But without being in Series 12, 
I just can't, I just can't upgrade him. So we're doing the best we can. We've got a couple of P1s in our name already. We've had a hat trick of P2s already. And, and that's without anywhere near some max parts. So I'm happy where we are at the game at the minute. Let me know how you're getting on this weekend. I really want to hear from you. Where are you finishing? Are you improving? Do you need help with anything as well? As we start lap eight here in Imola, as Max Stappen's flying away still with Pierre Gasly, not too far behind. And we're going to start off the final round video with a 47-pointer to keep me a little bit more happy. Because if I was recording in recording in if i was recording the first four races you would have had a different side to me that's for sure max verstappen wins pierre gasly comes across in p2 and that's a solid 47 points strategically worked happy days indeed the track that i absolutely fear the most when not using two series 12 epic drivers and you know it's Montreal in Canada. And where do we start? P2 and P9. And that's going to be pretty much impossible to get Pierre Gasly up the field. But as always, we'll give it a go. So let's put the boost on. And let's see if we can find the boost. Because at the minute, I couldn't. So, oh no, I need, <laughs> I need Rooster on Max Verstappen. That's not good. I need Kawhi on uh, Gasly. And now we're against it. Seven seconds. This is the most fun I've had all day. Where's Rooster? Quick. Here it is. Rooster's on. So, both cars. One on medium, one on soft. And lights out because we're going. And Max Verstappen, can he get a good start off the line? He does. It's an awesome reaction time. And what about Pierre Gasly? He's already into P8. Now into P6. Back down to P8. He's more up and down than a yo-yo. So, Max Verstappen leads this race in P1 on the medium tyres, and again, we're using Rooster. We are holding the field up again. We've got Pierre Gasly on the awesome Kawhi boost on softs as well, and we're going to hope to get him past and see what we can do. So, can Gasly get a good slingshot into the last? And look at this, this is like a traffic jam on the highway or the motorway, whichever country you are in. And can we go up the inside of the Ferrari? We can. And Gasly makes a move up to P7. Verstappen on his own up front. And the reason we're using Kawhi is brilliant for grip and uh, cornering, which is this track all over. And Max Verstappen, as you know, blocking the field as much as he can to try and help Gasly put a few overtakes in the bag. So... Lap three already, and Pierre Gasly has his eyes set on that scarlet red Ferrari and nearly takes Sainz out into turn two. But can we go round the outside potentially? Not quite. So a bit of a traffic jam, and it's probably hurting me this strategy more than anything. But either way, the front of the field are not getting away, and it's helping Pierre Gasly be right behind this queue. Look at that, 2.7 seconds cover at the top seven. And Max Verstappen is like a Fernando Alonso train most of the 2022 season. And can we take some inspiration, if any, as Gasly still P7 can't get past and we'll be coming back in for some medium tyres and hopefully we can use Max Verstappen to hold up a few cars so he can do the undercut. Can we get Russell? We can't. So we'll be coming into the pits this lap with Pierre. Verstappen goes round, three pit stops for rival teams, as well as our Pierre Gasly. And Max Verstappen still going round. Where does Gasly come back out? He's down in P11. That's so tough. So tough. There's not even a lot we could do about that. It's just look at the draw, Canada. You've got to have luck on your side with the AI strategy and your rival with matchmaking. So Verstappen... I'm not going to bring in. I'm going to keep out. And we're going to still try and hold up a bit. Let's cut down. Let's see if we can hold this Max Verstappen up. What about Sainz? Can Gasly get Sainz? Obviously, Gasly doesn't have great overtaking. Perez coming out of the pits. We get Sainz. We get Perez. So we're up to P8. And God, we're on P8 and we're on lap six. This is not good at all, is it, guys? Gasly P7 now. 
We're moving up more and more. We've still got a couple of pit stops ahead as well. So we are trying to rescue the situation. P6, can we make it? Oh, not quite. As Verstappen does pit for some softs. And now Gasly's into what looked to be P6. Now P5, P4. So two laps to go. Can we scrape a 1-2? And We're not going to push Verstappen just yet. What about rival Verstappen's on soft? So that's going to be tough to overtake him. We are, oh, I thought we were through. Gasly with a late lunge. And what about into the hairpin? Not quite. This is going to be impossible to rescue. We've got one lap to go in Canada. Gasly's trying, bless him. Verstappen's parking it like a bus. And now we have all four cars in the same corner of the track. And we just can't get past. Verstappen on the softs, if that was the medium in front of us, we'd have a chance. But Verstappen's trying his best as well to get through. And round the hairpin for the final time, it will be not our lucky day. So more points will be dropped in Canada. It is only P1 and P4. Equates to 45 points. So a tricky one there. But hey-ho, it's not our day. As we move to race seven in Mexico, we've got a bit of rain, so that's going to push Pierre Gasly right back as well, annoyingly. And it is just not going to be our day today. Look at that, P11 for Pierre Gasly. It's just, just there's not a lot we can do. We need to push really and get Hamilton or Norris probably level eight. So we're going to have to try and hold up again. Not my, f it's a good strategy. But there's only so many times it can work to our favour. And we're going to use Eclipse on our driver, two of Gasly. On the softs, so Gasly's going to do four and a four. Max Verstappen is going to do probably a four and a four. Stay out if I need to basically hold him up a bit more. So can we get a good start? Max Verstappen does. And as always, he's straight in to P1. What about Pierre? Can you make a good move down the inside off the start? And it is to P10. P10. Wow. And what about through this section? Straight through the middle, splits the Mercs, but the Mercs have us back. And can we get Hamilton? We can't. So it's P8 for Gasly. We're moving up. And Verstappen gets through, but we're able to push and we're back ahead. So P1, P8 at the moment for ourselves. And we're going to have to keep holding that soft tyre off Verstappen up as Gasly goes flying down the outside. Takes P6 and now settles down and conserves that little bit more. P1 and P6. Can we do any more damage? We're going to keep this Verstappen behind as he goes ahead of us. But we come back and Max Verstappen is yo-yoing around now himself. And we're going to try and keep that soft tyre behind us. What about Gasly? Can he get Lando Norris down the straight? Get into P5. Can he do it? Late lunge and Pierre Gasly gets P5. And we're moving up the field. We're moving on up. <laughs> yep, don't quit your day job, Aaron. P1 and P5. We're till still taking humour out of a bad day's work. And we are P1, P5. Still going to be tough to get 47 points out of this race, bearing in mind. As we come round the final corner to start lap four on Pierre. Straight into P3. Straight in. Well, straight into P4 and P3. Gasly, P3. And that is absolutely perfect. We are on the right path. So can we keep going? Max Verstappen still holding that up. He's got 40% tyre. We've got a bit of rain coming as well. Which is going to throw a spanner in the works. As Max Verstappen rival pits and our Pierre Gasly pits. And we're going to stay on the same track because I don't know how long that rain is coming in for. But we're soon to find out in 14 seconds time. As Gasly comes out the pits, gets overtaken by Russell. And we are going to have to hope that we can stay out because any hard tyres are now going to go on to wets. And that's going to... Oh, we've had such bad luck. And now we're going to get done by the weather, I feel. And we're going to send Max round one more time. And what about Gasly? Oh, I'm going to have to risk it. I'm going to have to stay out. I can't risk coming back in or is it's game over. I'm going to have to hope that I can hang on. And look at everyone pitting now for wets. 
So we would have at least come back out in about P8, P9, P10. And we're going to have to hope that Gasly can get around in enough time. I mean, when it was 20 seconds, 30 seconds to go, I probably should have pitted for wets. I didn't. It was too dry at that point. And you just don't know what you're going to get. But at the minute, we are in P1 and P5. As Gasly does make it into the pits, Verstappen, I'm not going to push. And where do we... Oh, how do we not get ahead of Norris? We didn't even service. And it is P1 and P7. And I'll give a laughing face to myself because it's been a disaster. It's been a rough day today. I'm quite looking forward to doing the free-to-play account. Get more fun than this account. Do check the free-to-play account out. I had a great opening round to give you a bit of interest. And you are hopefully going to like final round as well when I put it all together. That will be coming out Tuesday. But for now, we're in to P6. And we're not really going to get any more positions, I don't think. We've got Max Verstappen in medium somehow, still in second place. And Pierre Gasly is going to come round to basically finish in P6. Unless this traffic jam ahead of us messes up. Can we get a place here? We, we can't even get past Max Verstappen on mediums. Round the outside we go. We do get him. P5. Oh, it's not, not, not our day. Let's quickly get out of there. And let's quickly move on to France. Race 8. Let's get this final round out the way and done with. I've had enough of it. And we are starting P2 and P9 again. That's that's the thing, guys. I'm trying my very best. When we're P2, we're great. We can get P1 easy. But when we're P9, it's so tough to get 47 points. I did it in opening round. I have not been able to do it in final round when it matters. But never mind. We can't win them all. The hat-trick of P2s is gone. But let's enjoy the last race of the day. Max Verstappen, great start into P1. We'll cut him down. And Gasly up the inside into P5. Great move. He wants to make, do some making up after a poor couple of races from him. So let's talk through boosts. Rooster in France, the home of Rooster, where it came from originally. And it is a case of blocking the field again. And Pierre Gasly eclipse for the speed and overtaking. Bit of extra fuel pushing. And I feel we're going to have a lot of yo-yoing around. So Max Verstappen is going to hold up Max Verstappen, which is very weird to say. And we are in to the lead. And we're going to hold that as long as we can. And what about Pierre? We've got hard tyres in front. Oh, that's a bad corner by Pierre. The consistency low figure really showing there as we drop back to P6. So where can we go from here? We're going to do a lunge down the straight. Can we get it done? We can. We're back up to P5. And even Gasly's moving up and down. And what about Verstappen now? These two are going to go at it again as Pierre Gasly gets P4. And Verstappen's overtook us, but can we move back past? We can. So we're back in front, P1. And Gasly into P4. Oh, it's all good fun, this is. We love a bit of a, fro what is it, Sunday fun day. And give this happen. We're not going to push too much. We're still going to hold up. We're probably going to do four and four with Max. Gasly definitely be doing a three, three, two. I've got the fuel to do it. I've got the fuel to use medium tyres. And what can we do from here? Can we settle down? into a very solid race and Verstappen gets back ahead of us which is frustrating but we're back ahead of him so we are now P1 again and we're coming into the pits from P4 with Pierre Gasly so he'll come out bit of free air yep P6 now for Pierre and where can we go from here can we secure 47s can we finish it off with a final effort in France. And where are we now? We're P6. We've got Verstappen P1. He'll be pinning. Can we go up the inside of the Ferrari? Great place to overtake. We can't. But we're still going to try and hang it out around the outside. 
but we can't get it done. So Verstappen pits, and now Gasly does get two cars in one corner. Brilliant move by Pierre, and we've now got P1 and P2. We've got Verstappen going to the end, and we've got Pierre going to be accelerating off into the distance in P1. So what we've got to do now is hold up the field with Max, with that rooster, and let Pierre Gasly create a gap. And we are P1, P2. So we're going to boost with Verstappen. Make sure he keeps ahead. And he does. Pierre's out front. He's got another lap to go. So he's creating the gap all the time. And he'll be coming back for soft tyres anyway. Max can go to the end. Charles Leclerc can't. So we're actually in a very good position. As we enter... Halfway round lap six. What about Pierre? Pierre's coming into the pits this lap. And he's got two solid laps of fuel left to go as well. As we're into P1. And he should come out in the lead of this race. With our holding up. Max Verstappen's just lost a position. But the Ferrari will be coming into the pits this lap. And we're back ahead with yo-yoed through. So P1, P2. Two laps to go. And that eclipse that came out this weekend is a good boost. So if you haven't got it, make sure you stock up. And we are on the final stretch of final round. Trying to keep the motivation up there. It hasn't been our day. But at least you get to see me struggle. It's not all plain sailing on this game. So Pierre's on the last lap. Max Verstappen starts the last lap and apart from any crashes we are going to finish P1 and P2 in France with two very good strategies as Gasly comes around to basically win the France Grand Prix making up for the last few races of disappointment Pierre Gasly wins and Max Verstappen will follow shortly across the line in P2 to secure 47 points. And that's exactly what we needed in France. So we'll wait for the rival to finish and we'll see the damage that we've had in this weekend's GP. Been a tough one, but we can't win them all. We can't finish top three all the time. It's getting stronger and stronger each week and these are the replications of pushing it to the limit 47 points in the final race and let's see where that leaves us in champion and we are p1 but not for very long <laughs> we are p1 at the minute we dropped three races of points we had a six drop a two drop and a three pop so we've dropped 11 points it should be good enough for top 10 it won't be good enough for top three. Music Man and Tom Ann to go. Alex as well. So we're probably going to finish maybe top five. But for that's it for this week. I'm moving on. I'll see you in the next one.